For starters, Dr. Bob Corrett will take the lead in setting policy for more than 150,000 students in Maryland. Corrett is already learning his way around his College Park office, getting to know staff and making plans for the future. He's taking over a university system with a dozen schools. Pretty much all of them are set to raise tuition this fall to help make ends meet. And in spite of what he calls somewhat steady federal support for higher ed, Corrette knows it's a different story in Annapolis. But the states have cut back. and They have all kinds of other pressures. They view tuition as a revenue stream, so they say, well, use tuition. They don't like us to use it, but they do say use it. <laughs> and uh, we use it, we get criticized. Money is just one of the front-burning issues facing college presidents from around the state. But it's a topic Corrette says he'll take up with a newly formed campus peer group, which includes college presidents. So when somebody calls me up, as one president did this morning, and said, I need a lot more money, I said, so did the other 11. I said, tell me why you need it, you know, <laughs> and then we'll discuss whether it's possible. No doubt Bob Corrette is a familiar face in Maryland higher education circles. He'll be the first to tell you that his goal is not to be popular. Obviously, you can't do what I've done for almost, you know, 30 years as an administrator and 40 years as an academic without have stepped on a couple of toes, uh, intentionally or otherwise, you know. Um, but uh, I think uh, the, the, those that are n not happy with my return are few and far between. In the fall, Corrette will take a tour of college campuses across the state to hear firsthand what's on the minds of students and staff members. In College Park, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.